Yo, what is going on guys, Dosh Zo here and welcome to a survival walkthrough. I made a video a long time ago just like this on how to complete all waves on Sandy Survival. Now this map is called Processed and so I'm going to make it into a series where I do every single map in the game. So whenever you get into a random survival map, you'll know exactly where to go and exactly what to do. So in the first wave, just like any other map, it's one shot kill. In fact, the first couple of waves are one shot kill. So run, in the first wave especially, just run around, get your pistol out and shoot every single person. Especially because it's auto aim, you can just go ahead and shoot and you don't really need cover. And while, while you're also doing that, go ahead and get the snacks and the money off the floor that uh, they would drop. Because as, along with your 30k, you will also get some money on the side. As well as snacks which can help you in tight situations. So that's very important. Now before the second wave, make sure you run run and get the health packs as well as the armor if you're hurt. That should be your number one priority over the money uh, and the snacks. I know it can be kind of tempting to go for it, but if you want to complete all waves, you don't want to die in the beginning because you don't want to have to rely on your teammates. Now, in the second wave, it's still one shot kill. As you can see, I'm using the SMG, but you can use the pistol. You just would need more cover. Now I'm using first person because I prefer first person when I'm shooting because it's kind of like Call of Duty for me and I'm really familiar with Call of Duty so if it was as close as possible to Call of Duty then it would be easy for me and if it's like that for you as well drop a comment below and I'll be sure to make another video on what my first person settings are. This is wave 3 and in this game I was still experimenting with first person to see if the cover was any good. Now, I do learn that first person is really bad for cover so if you do use um, first person or you do like to use first person then make sure you go into settings and switch on third person cover because you need to be able to see what's going on behind that wall so you know when to come out of cover so I do in fact die here but it's not such a bad thing because I do learn a new spot which I can show you guys now obviously I did not think of this spot so credit goes to RIP underscore soldier slim three, uh, but you know he's got the spot or wherever he got it from. Uh, but I found it off him. So this is a really good spot. Uh, looking at it right now, you can see that it's really far back as well as inside something, which is important because you want cover from overhead. There are a number of spots in this map, one of which you'll see later and worked out really well for me. Now this is wave 4 and this wave is nearly done. Now one of the tips I can give you is that if you have a helicopter in the air as well as people on the ground, make sure you take out the people on the ground before you attempt to go for the helicopter in the air because you don't want to be shot from two places or more than two places at once. So here th I'm taking out the helicopter. Um, before the start of each round make sure you go ahead and collect all the money on the floor and the snacks because in tight situations it can really help you. Now I'm going to skip wave 5 and go straight to wave 6 because it's pretty much the same thing you stay back stay in cover and shoot. Now this is the cover this is the spot I used throughout this game and it worked out really well for me. I'm just here I'm just experimenting with first person and third person obviously third person is much better when you're in cover. So one of the main things you want when you're in cover is a shotgun because you want to kind of like shoot them with one shot you don't want to you know take your time with them because there's gonna be a lot of people shooting at you so if you the, the sooner you shoot them and the sooner you get back down the better it is for you now shotguns is good as well as grenades when you see vehicles coming by as you will see in a minute grenades help a lot because in some maps you don't want to be blowing up the vehicles in this map you do because they don't really take cover behind the vehicles it looks like because that's not where they're coming from so when they do come take get rid of them with the grenades because it's just less work for you you don't have to wait for them to come out of cover let I me mean, come out of the vehicle and then shoot you and then as well as that you'll have other people shooting at you so it's long so as you can see this spot is really well i haven't lost any health so far and pretty much all you do is wait for them to come to you you don't want to be going out there by yourself even with your teammates wait for them to come to you one by one or two by two it doesn't matter uh, and you just get out 
shoot them come back down shoot them you don't have to kill them fully I did mention this in my first ever video that you don't have to shoot them fully you just shoot them put a few bullets into them so they're not doing the shooting animation at you they're falling that's the animation that they you know that's the animation that they're doing so that's so if they're doing that they're not shooting at you so that helps now in wave 7 I'm still in the same spot and I'm in the same spot for the rest of the waves to come and all I'm doing is using my shotgun shooting just as wave 6 but also throwing more grenades because at the time I thought grenades will do a lot of work uh, you know I was just thinking about Call of Duty and you know grenades I thought would do a lot of work when there's a lot of people and to be honest it didn't do it wasn't as effective as I imagined it to be but while at the time I also looked for flaws in this spot and what I did find was this hole in the roof now this roof this hole is kind of a potential place where helicopters can shoot you although in this game I didn't even get shot once through that hole it's still a potential place where they can shoot you obviously if you do end up getting shot through there there are other spots in this map such as the this skip right next to this one as my teammate is using uh, so you can go ahead and use that you can also use that red tank which I forgot to mention you should blow that up right in the beginning because you don't want to die unexpectedly and suddenly I'm gonna skip wave 8 and 9 because it's exactly the same thing all I did was sit back and shoot that's all I did uh, and then after when everyone else is gone on the ground go for the helicopters now in wave 10 it's effectively it's the same thing shoot there's just gonna be a lot more people coming at you uh, and that's all you do so in the description there'll be a quick summary of this video and yeah that is about it I hope you guys enjoyed my tips and found it helpful if you do enjoy this video don't forget to drop it a like because it did take a long time to make uh, and a like is very much appreciated and if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I will be making more videos on this so comment down below on which map you'd like to see next and I will see you guys in my next video thanks a lot for watching see you guys later